are thrilled and honored to welcome Dr. Margaret Honey, CEO and President of the New York Hall of Science, to discuss some of her groundbreaking work in STEM education and the power of design, make, and play in shaping innovation. What's going on, of course, in schools is something very different, where we're largely creating an environment, not always, but all too often, um, where we're teaching to the test, and where real learning, creative thinking, problem solving, critical analysis, and passion are absent. We talk about the importance of divergence, of divergent thinking, of being able to get to a solution using multiple strategies. The sad thing is, is that that's largely not what's going on in our formal education system. I mean, young children are profoundly curious. So don't you wonder, like, what happens to that? Why do we stop asking why? Um, and I, I think, you know, that's, that's the dynamic that we're, we're really committed to altering, to changing. We've thought about ways in which you can use different kinds of equipment and different kinds of experiences that kids engage in on the playground. We are making very cool stuff at NYSAI. Mm -hmm. And we know because teachers are our partners in developing this work that it works in classrooms, they want to use it, it is... Absolutely, from a kid's point of view, irresistible. Mm -hmm. One of the most fascinating um, things that we've been involved in is the maker movement and maker fair. So these are people who think very deeply and creatively about questions of learning and how young people learn, how best to support that. Mm -hmm. You put our tools in front of young people and they don't want to let go of them. What can we do to help uh, kind of spread those best practices? What what kinds of distribution channels can you leverage, can you yeah. take advantage of? And it's a complicated marketplace. We need smart, innovative young people who are working in the tech space to really help figure out and take on and address that challenge because it is a critical challenge. It's not that there's not good stuff. It's just helping that stuff find its way into the marketplace. You know, there's a huge amount of chatter in the ed sector about disruption and disruptive technologies. What needs to be at the center of the equation is a real considered approach to learning. And what is it that we're choosing to privilege when it comes to learning? So are we privileging compliance, good behavior, or are we privileging an approach to problem solving that recognizes there are lots of ways to get there? Yeah. You learn the most through the process you go through. Yeah. And in fact, Show me your work. and Not failure just the yeah. and right, try, try again mm -hmm. is all part of it. And, and in fact, it's where the deepest learning takes place.